Fight fans, here we go. Spar Star Promotions is proud to present the reruns of mixed martial arts in the Bantamweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Hybrid Boost. Introducing our referee in charge of this bout, Mylan Ayers. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing black trunks, trimmed in white. He is training out of Fight Science MMA in Mid-City, Los Angeles. He weighed in 126 pounds. His record, one win, no losses with that win. Coming by way of stoppage, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Insane Zane Velasio! His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing black trunks to rim in blue. He is training out of Fight Academy in Pasadena, CMMA in Gardena by way of Northeast Los Angeles. He weighed in 125 pounds. His record, one win with no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Wiggy Wasmer. All right, fans, here we go. The rerounds of mixed martial arts in the Bantamweight division. All right, here we go. Zane Palacio up against Elwig Wasmer. Palacio in the blue, Wasmer in the red. Number three, two minute round contest. Wasmer went up with some leg kicks, but he's leaving his head out there and just ate a nice cross. Over under clinch, up against the cage. Palacio weighing heavy on the underhook from Wasmer. He's trying to dig that underhook on his left side, but Wasmer doing a nice job of stuffing it. And Bannons he gets turned around. Nice head position here from Wasmer. Trying to land some knees on the inside. Hard to generate a lot of power from there, though. I'd like to see him maybe change levels and, and, and try to pick up that single leg. He's in a pretty good position for it. Although that overhook is, is, is pretty high and tight from Palacio. Yeah, not sure exactly what he's going for here. He gets pushed up against the cage, lost for now. This, this more or less looks like kind of like a feeling out round. I, I'm not sure if either guy has a game plan here. They're just trying to kind of see how strong the other guy is, what he brings to the table. Ooh, nice combo there. Landed nicely on the leg in the finish. Thought about a double leg. He's maybe looking for a lateral, lateral drop that gets pushed back against the cage. Yep. A lot of do-si-do -do in here as we wind down round one. Mylonair is going to let him stay up against the cage here for the finish. Oh, looking for a trip. Tough round to score, really. I mean, not much significant damage. I mean, you had a nice cross from Palacio early in the round. We had a nice combination with a finish on the leg from Wasper. Probably pretty even. I mean, it's about as even as a round as you'll see. Yeah. 
number two. Rosberg starting it out with kicks. Let's see who answers back to the kick of the zone. Not sure if Wasmer's intentionally stepping back into Southpaw. Oh, nice, right straight from Palacio. I noticed that as well. I don't know if he's trying to give Palacio different looks or if he's just using footwork to circle out. Uh, I think, well, he, he, he switched uh, stance and then threw a right leg sidekick from mm. the front. Nice exchange there. And double unders from Mosfer pushes Palacio up against the cage. Hard to take down a taller fighter like that, though, with that technique. Oh, oh beautiful trip, though, gets it yeah. done. That's, that's one way to do it. Palacio wanting to grab onto that cage, <laughs> open back up. <laughs> Survival instincts kicking in. Can't say a blame. Stuck in the half guard here. Doesn't look like much of a half guard, though. If you could just probably knee cut, he could probably get right out of there. Interesting, though, with the shin guards, it might actually add more friction to help uh, maintain the half guard. It does make it more difficult. Rossman has a nice deep underhook on that right side, though. He could pretty much attempt to pass anytime he wanted. Does he necessarily want to pass, though? Some people really prefer that half guard from top. Yeah, you can still do damage from there. I mean, you certainly are scoring points in the, in the eyes of the, the judges. As long as you don't give up that underhook, uh, that top side underhook, then usually you can help uh, keep your opponent down with the half guard. Palacio doing the right thing by getting on his oh. side, but left his neck out. Beautiful oh, arm. arm. Yeah, uh, an arm in guillotine mm. attempt here. It looks pretty tight. He's doing everything right from, Ooh. from where we can see. Oh, we might run out of time. Yeah. Palacio is definitely not liking this. I think the head's about to pop out in here. No, maybe not. Oof. Perhaps saved by the bell, we'll never know. Well, that at the very least, he's got to get Wasmer uh, some points in the judge's eyes. Absolutely. I mean, he controlled the top position. When he was about to get reversed, he jumped on that guillotine fast. Palacio looked like he was struggling to get out of there, but it never really feigned the tap, so maybe he was okay. Do a little sound check for us. Say check one, two. Check one, two. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest in the booth with us. Prof former professional MMA fighter, black belt under Joao Assis. We have Charles Dara in the booth with us. Long thank, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Longtime friend and training partner of mine. So, Charles, here we go. Top of round three, as we've seen. Uh, Wasmer up probably two rounds to none, or at least he won that second round definitively. Good low kick. Was really feeling it this round. Switch the stance again. Let's see if he throws that right leg lead uh, side kick. Oh, his head. Nice. Uh, yeah. There's a nice check left hook there from Palacio. Yeah, well, I feel like Wasmer, he like maybe fainting that he's going to shoot him, but then kind of staying in the danger zone a little too long. Uh, Palacio, if he starts to find a home for that left hook. Got to be some kind of a karate background, Charles, would you say, with those front, uh, front leg side kicks? Absolutely. And he's switching stances with it, too. So I, maybe Taekwondo background, some kind of karate. He looks very comfortable. Right back to double unders. Well, lost it for a second, but then fought back for the second underhook. So if he gets the same trip, he's looking for it. Maybe thinking of uh, no Bushi. So let's go one of the underhooks. Decides to start throwing right to the face. I was just going to drag him down. I nice. like that. that. That's one of those takedowns where you just wear on your opponent. He's right got to the, the dagger dag standing. Yep. 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 Oh, man. Opting to drop knees to the body as opposed to sink that hook. Palacio trying to tie up that second hand so he won't be teed off on. 
Yeah, Palacio in, in danger here, but there's only 10 seconds left. Oh, looking for that rear naked choke's gonna pull him down. It's un it's in, he's only got one arm under, but I'm sorry, one arm involved in the choke. Saved by the bell. I mean, that's gonna earn Glossmer a victory, probably two rounds to none or one, but he definitely won rounds two and three, so. Yeah, he should have this one in the bag. Should be a unanimous, unanimous decision victory. Charles, how much harder is it to sink in a choke? You noticed how he had the the, the wrist ride with the, with his non-choking arm. Mm. How much harder is it to get that hand out of there with those puffy gloves? These are six ounce gloves. Oh, it's almost impossible to pull the hand out. Right. Those gloves make it so tight. If the guy pinches his elbow to his hip, your hand your hand's essentially just stuck under his arm. All right, I'm gonna say that the Jim Fitzgerald for the official word here on that second bout. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our scorecards. We have our decision. Judge at cage side, Jackie Dickens scores about 29 to 28. Judge at cage side, Carlos Schaud scores about 30 to 26. While judge at cage side, Adriana Jenkins scores about 30 to 27 in favor of our winner. By unanimous decision, he is still undefeated. Wiggy Wasmer. As predicted, Elwig Wasmer walks away with that unanimous decision. Um, I respect and love Jackie Denkin, but I don't know what they were watching to score that 29-28. Uh, I was more in line with that 30-27. You could see by his posture he had lost the fight in his own mind. Yeah.